welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're tying a deer hair pupa. For this fly, I use the Unifred A dot in black. You can just use brown or gray. And the hook is a standard wire size 12 hook. So we'll start by putting down a layer of thread. And we'll take it to the barb of the hook, or slightly longer. So, as the name suggests, this fly is made mostly out of deer hair. So, or in fact, it has a spun deer hair body. And just take a pinch of deer hair the size. of a pencil and then I cut off um, the ends. It's easier to spin with the shorter the hair is the easier it is to spin so hold a bunch set it on the hook then two loose turns then pull and then let it spin And here you may have some deer hair stuck in on the hook or in the band. So just try to set them where they should go. So and then we'll push back the fibers of the deer hair and take another small clump and then cut it off as near as the, to the high as possible then I cut off the tips and then do the same Put it on top, and two loose turns, and then pull, and let the deer hair go, and it will automatically play spin. Then you can push back everything, and then I'll take a third clump, do the same, pull out all the under fur. Cut off the tips, set it just in front of the last one, two loose turns, and then pull, and it will spin. A nice little trick is to go back with the thread in the last segment. This will bind it together, and you won't have three parts, but one uniform body and now another little trick for the last part is to not cut off the tips leave them as they are so this way when we then tie it in with the tips facing forward tips will extend and you can easily grab them and push them back and then make some turns in front to tidy up. So the last here, two loose turns and then pull on the thread and let go. And here we can see all the long hairs sticking forward, you can just pull them back very easily, advance your thread, pull back all the fibers or all the hair and then 
just tidy up in front and here we'll do a whip finish because we then what we're gonna do is to trim this body into the shape we want so just whip finish and cut off your thread now the fun part with deer hair is to trim it and here you can trim for ages but I'll try to do it as quickly as I can so the first thing to do is to cut the belly flat and this is for two things it will lay flat on the water and it will also open up the gap of the hook because if you don't <coughs> cut it flat or open up enough the fish will have great problems getting hooked and then just go around and build up we want this to be like an oval shape or a little thicker at the front then tapering down to the back and here you can use the bend of the hook as a guide for the angle like this and then if you have curved scissors you can use them it's a little easier so just trim the body into the shape you like And here at the front we also want it to bring down to the eye of the hook and here you can also use the eye as a guide for the angle and this seems fine and now I'll just take a lighter and turn off fibers or the hair just darken the body a little and also make for uniform body there we go and now we'll tie in or start thread again at the eye of the hook And the last material to tie in is some hackle. Here you can use partridge in different colors, brown, black, natural, natural gray, or natural brown. But in this case, I'll use a ham neck. And i just taken one feather off, take off all the fluffy stuff. And then measure it and see the fibers you need. And then pull off or all the unnecessary stuff. And then pull down all the fibers you'll use the same sign leaving just the tip and then tie it in at the eye of the hook and here you can double it for some strength 
and then come in with your scissors and cut it off. And here I like to do a half inch to make sure the thread won't come loose. And now pull back all the fibers and start making turns forward. Trying to keep all the fibers going to the back. And that's enough. One turn and a half or two turns is enough. You could also use strip one side of the fibers and then just use don't doubling it, making maybe two three turns, but this works fine. Then pull back oh, everything is facing forward and build up a little head and then we finish one two three times pull tight then cut off the, your thread and then I like to seal the head with some varnish. There's no need, but I like to do it. It makes for a more durable fly. And there's the deer hair pupa.